All right, let's start our service with prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity. We can come together, Lord. We can laugh, enjoy each other's company. And we can come and worship you, Lord, and learn more about you. Heavenly Father, I just pray for each and every one of us. Lord, I pray for those who still may be coming today, Lord, and those who can't be here. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, so we will start off as we talked about last week. Today is the first Sunday of Advent, so kind of the first Sunday of our Christmas season. So we switched over to pretty much all Christmas music. <laughs> last week, and then this is the song that they sang for the Onaway uh, Ministerial Carol Sing that we recorded this week, so I thought, why not sing it one more time for them? They haven't sang it enough over the past week. <laughs>
song this week that is not a Christmas song. The reason we're singing this, because like we mentioned last week, whenever we introduce a, a new song or reintroduce a really old song, we like to sing it for a week or two just so that we start to familiarize ourselves with it again. So... <laughs> we have here is our Advent reading. Uh, we share throughout the church congregation. People come up every week and read uh, a scripture and they light the candle just to help us get into the Advent season, the Gatorade to welcome Christ at Christmas. Uh, as I had said earlier, every year I try and go through and I try to follow, you know, the Advent readings that other churches and organizations use. And I always look at them and I say, I don't like those. And so I pick the Advent readings myself. This year I, I did that again, of course. Because I looked at them yesterday, I said, no, those don't really fit. So I picked one. But the one I picked today may not be one that we traditionally associate as an Advent reading. But usually one of the first Advent readings is about prophecy. Well, you know what? I went with the first prophecy about Christ. So James, read the words from that you're reading. Gen Can move over. There you go. Genesis chapter 3, verse 13. Okay, so nice and loud, and you can start reading that. So the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you above all the livestock and all the wild animals. You will crawl on your belly, and you will eat dust all the days of your life. And I will put... And the 
enmity. Enmity between you and women, and between your offspring spring and hers, he will crush your head and you and you will strike his heel. Okay, light a candle. And try and light the front one if you can. later on, make sure you take off your mask before you blow the candle up. Because you may not be able to do good, and you may burn your mask. So we don't want that. Okay. Thank you very much, Jane. So, I, for those who didn't quite get the reading or understand why we picked it, that is actually the first prophecy in Scripture about Jesus. Because that's after the fall of man when God is reducing the curses, and he curses the devil, but in there he also gives hope saying that at one point in time, there will be a child born, or a, you know, a child will be born, who will defeat Satan. And that's ultimately what Christ says about coming to defeat Satan, coming to destroy sin, so that we can have eternal life. But it would cost him. And in this case, we know, of course, if we jump to Easter, we know it costs Christ his life. So, with that, thank you very much, James, for the Advent reading. And... Thank you.